we know what the right-wing media are going to say because they're already saying it. They're already saying this is almost like treachery. How could anybody do something so un unpatriotic at this moment of war where we need to drill and we need to frack? And I think it's understandable people are worried about that. People are very you know, anxious about, um, is this third world war? Will we face nuclear war now? What do we do? We can only understand that by looking back in history a little bit. Let's just remind ourselves of what happened after 9-11. And anyone who saw that, anyone who was witnessing those images, very natural human sympathy for some tragic, tragic human stories. And how quickly that became the war on terror. How quickly the rhetoric was, you're either with us or against us. This is the shock doctrine. This is the shock doctrine of exploiting moments of disorientation and confusion to force through radical corporate interests. It's the most anti-democratic doctrine that we've ever seen. It treats democracy and human agency as a problem that gets in the way of corporate interests. And we've seen it again and again. We've seen how with the fiscal crash in 2008, that became the moment when people were told we have no option but austerity. People so disorientated, they might have believed that. And we pull back all those social protections We've seen it again with the pandemic when we get all that rhetoric about Build Back Better and we see that what actually happens is that our corrupt and dishonest governments line the pockets of their corporate friends. We've seen it with um, COVID schemes. We've seen it with the billions of bailouts for the carbon economy. And already we're seeing it again. Just a few months after all that grandstanding at COP26, we're hearing Boris Johnson saying we need to give ourselves a climate pass. We need to drill and frack our way out of trouble. And that is the agenda that is being pushed through right now. And the game is up because we're right on the precipice. We're approaching that critical line of 1.5 degrees. We know what that means. And so do governments. Incredible risks of multiple breadbasket failure and famine. That is what the peer reviewed research says. Tropical regions of the world going to be uninhabitable. 40% of the world's population live there. And our own government in its net zero strategy says we risk a hothouse earth. We risk losing control of the climate system for good. So if we allow the shock doctrine to dictate policy at this moment, we've lost everything. And the moment has gone. And if we don't come out and take to the streets and wake people up, our democracy is, is subverted. Our democracy is destroyed because there is no democratic mandate for this. There is no democratic mandate to destroy the conditions which make the planet habitable. So rebellion is the antidote to the shock doctrine. And that is what we have to do.